what's up boys, slot player here and today I will explain to you how to play roulette. This video is for absolute beginners so if you already know how to play skip it and go for the video for experienced players. Anyway, game starts when the dealer or croupier in French to be fancy spins the ball and it sooner or later stops on one of the numbers. That becomes a winning number. Dealer then marks the winning number with this thing that looks like plastic weight and it's called dolly. Then the table is clean from all the chips that were placed by the players but lost. After that heartbreaking event, we start with paying the winning bets. We start with columns because they are far away from the dealer. Because of that they are easy to cheat on, that's why we pay them first. Maybe I will do one video on how people are cheating in the casino. If you wanna see that, subscribe now to my channel. If you disregard the zero, every column covers the 12 numbers placed directly above it. For every winning number there are two losing columns and one winning. That means that this winning column will be paid two times. After columns we move on to paying the rest of the so-called simple chances. These are these bets on the outside of the table opposite to the dealer. Most of these simple chances like even odd or red black pay double simply because they have 50-50 chances to win. On this segment of the video you can see the dealer placing chips in order those outside chances are paid. So first we pay the simple 50-50 chances and then carry on with the dozens. Dozens are the 12 numbers in a row and they pay exactly the same like the columns, 2 for 1. Alright, alright, I know, I know, dealer screwed up a bit here at the end. He should have first paid the even numbers and only done the small numbers 1 to 18. Ok, now we move to something much, much more complicated and that is paying the winning numbers. So. For every chip on a winning number, dealer will pay you another 35 chips. Yes, that's true, 35 new pieces for every one on the winning number. With one chip you can also bet on two numbers. You do this by placing the chip exactly on the line separating those two numbers. If any of these two numbers come out, dealer will pay you 17 chips for every one you place there. Corner, or fancy called Carré, is a bet on four numbers. It will pay you 8 chips for every one you place there. You can also bet on 6 numbers and that will pay you 5 chips for each one you bet there. And the last combination is the 3 numbers line that will pay you 11 times. Then you multiply how many chips you have on each particular combination, add all that up and that's it. For example, if you have 2 chips on a full number, that will pay you 70 chips, 2 times 35. One more chip on a split adds 17 new pieces for 87 total. And if you were so smart to place another 2 chips on the 3 line, that will add another 22 for a total of 109. This video playing now will show a total win of 114 chips, but that is because it includes the chips bet on the table. In real casinos you will win 109 chips and the 5 will remain where they are on the table. In any case, dealers must know the multiplying table up to 20 times for all these numbers used. 35, 17, 11, 8 and 5. So I know at any time of the day or night that 17 times 17 is 289 or that 19 times 35 is 665. Also, dealers must know by heart how much the usual combinations pay. For example, one straight up and one split will pay 52 in total, 35 plus 17. That is called picture bets and they need to be memorized and known automatically. My favorite picture bet is called Mickey Mouse because one straight up and two corners look exactly like Mickey's big head and big ears. Mickey will always pay 51 trips, if there are two Mickeys that will be 102, 3 is 153 and so on and so on. That's the basic of roulette, play a little bit and don't exaggerate. Press subscribe if you want to see more videos about casino games or visit my site to check out the popular online slots. Greetings from Slot Player, until we meet next time.